how to raise a child, rewards and punishment. And there are two types of punishments, uh, emotional punishments and the punishment of physical restrictions. Let's talk about the difference and how they affect children's future. The first type of punishment is the punishment that you should avoid. And this is emotional punishment. Uh, this is what a lot of parents think that they should do. And they do it because of love, because they believe that it's going to really teach a child the lesson. But in reality, it won't. Emotional punishment is when a um, parent um, is saying something like, uh, shame on you. How could you do this? And you should avoid the emotional punishment as much as possible. Although a lot of parents believe that this is the best punishment because they uh, use emotions and they talk to a child and they can uh, use the guilt uh, to show the child uh, how terrible his behavior is. But in reality, it's one of the worst things that you can do for your child. So emotional punishment uh, sounds like this, uh, like shame on you. How could you do this? Uh, you disappointed me. I'm disappointed in you. You should feel guilty because you did this. Uh, uh, girls are not supposed to do those things. Don't embarrass me. At the end, the child feels like he's not good enough. The child feels like he did something wrong. He's the cause of uh, mommy's bad mood, mood uh, daddy's bad mood. And the child uh, will get an understanding about himself that he is a bad person and uh, at the end the child is not going to be successful the child will have low self-esteem low self-confidence and it will be very hard for him to overcome his fears and achieve his goals in the future so by distancing creating a distance emotional distance between you and your child you are not teaching him a lesson. You are telling him that he is not good enough as a person. So if you truly love your child, if you want to raise a successful child, then I highly recommend to use a second type of punishment, which is physical restrictions. And this punishment is going to sound like this. Um, because you were rude to your grandparents, you are not going to watch TV. Or because you uh, got a bad grade at school, you are not allowed to use any devices. Or because you did not uh, finish your home um, chores, you are not going to get an ice cream. In this case, child will learn that I did something wrong and I cannot enjoy things that I like. So he will know that he is in control of what he has in life. And if he did bad things, if he was lazy, if he was rude, if he did not uh, do what he was supposed to do, then he will face some consequences. In this case, a child is learning that I did something wrong. And because of that, I cannot enjoy things that I like. So he will learn that uh, my happiness depends on me. So if I change my behavior, if I will stop being messy, if I will stop being lazy, if I will help my parents, if I will be polite with my grandparents, if I will get a good grades at school, then I can have a lot of fun in life. So for the future of this child, uh, it's going to bring like huge positive impact because he will think that I am in control of my life. My skills, my behavior, um, my actions will bring the result that I want. So in this case, you're not distancing uh, yourself from the child. You're not creating emotional drama. You're not using guilt, shame and other negative emotions. In this case, you are using um, positive influence towards your child. And this way you're going to raise a successful, happy person who will have a good self-esteem, a high self-confidence and who will achieve almost any goal that he will have in his life.